Okay, welcome to 1.6 Other Types of Equations, and we're going to cover just a short um, part or a small part of this section. And so it's kind of um, related to the last section where we solve uh, quadratic equations. And we're going to be solving um, equations, but they're not going to be quadratic. In the first example, example one, we solve this polynomial equation by factoring. And notice how it is a fourth degree equation, the highest degree is four. We're going to go ahead and solve this like we did before and use the zero factor rule. We're going to go ahead and set one side equal to zero by subtracting 27x squared from both sides. I get 3x to the fourth minus 27x squared equals zero. And I'm going to factor the left hand side. So I'm going to pull out the GCF. 3x squared is the GCF. So I get x squared minus 9. That's equal to zero. And I can actually factor this more by using the difference of two squares x plus 3 x minus 3 so now I have 1, 2, 3 factors equals 0 so each of them equals 0 okay. when I solve each of these I divide this by 3 I get x squared equals 0, so 0 divided by 3 is 0. And then x equals plus or minus square root of 0. I'm going to use the square root property, even though we know um, the answer to be 0. I want to show that I can use the square root property there. And so x equals plus or minus 0, x equals 0. Here I get <coughs> x equals negative 3. <coughs> and then last one I get x equals 3. You're going to note that I had a fourth degree equation here, and normally when you have a fourth degree equation, you expect four solutions. I actually have one, two, and technically there are four solutions, three and four, the plus and minus zero, but because um, plus and minus zero is still zero, that just counts as one. But if this had been plus or minus two, then that would have been, or plus or minus four, or plus or minus five, that would have been two solutions there. We have three solutions, but technically there are four. Okay. And so let's go ahead and check my answer real quick. These are really quickly easy to check. If I check the 0 into here, well, 0 to the 4th power is 0 times 3 is 0. Here I would have 0 squared 0 times 27 0. So this one's pretty easy to check. If I check 3, um, I have 3 times 3 to the 4th power. Does that equal 27 times 3 squared? So... 3 to the 4th power is 81, so 3 times 81 would be 243, and then 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 27 is 243. So that one does check. This one does check right here. And if I do the negative 3, that will also check. I won't show that, but it will also check. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and do this on your own problem. And then uh, when you restart it, I'll have the answer up there for you to check your answer. Okay, so I went ahead and started the on your own. And I went ahead and set equal to zero. And then I factored the left-hand side and pulled out the greatest common factor, which was 4x squared. So I end up with x squared minus 3 left. And I remember in class when I taught this in uh, a lecture class, a lot of students got confused at this point because this is not different than two squares, so you can't um, factor this anymore. But so I set this factor equal to zero, which I did there. This factor equal to zero, which I did right here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and solve. So I get x squared equals zero, x equal plus or minus square zero, x equal plus or minus zero, x equals zero. And here when I add three to both sides, I get x squared equals 3, and here I use the square root property again. So x is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 3. So I have uh, three solutions. Technically, four, I have the plus or minus 0, but really 0. I have the positive square root of 3, and I have the negative square root of 3. Oops. Hello, did I do something to my iPad? There we go. So there's my solution there. That one, let's see if we can go ahead and check um, this one. Here I have 4. Let's check the uh, square root of 3. Okay. 
the square root of 3 to the 4th power is going to be 9. You have square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. And so this would be 3 times 3 to the 9. So I get 36. And then here I would have 12 times 3, which is 36. So it looks like that one checks. Um, this one checks. We know if you put 0 in here and here, that both sides get 0. And then this one check also because this the negative sign doesn't really matter. You have the fourth power and the second degree power. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the next example. We're going to solve by factoring. And so we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go ahead and set one side equal to 0. I'm going to set this side here equal to 0. So I get x to the third plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. I got minus 4x and minus 4 because I subtracted 4x and 4 from both sides. Here are four terms under the grouping method. So I get x squared, x plus 1. I'll pull a negative 1 here. I'll pull a negative sign out because the first term is negative here. And then only 1 comes out. Actually, no, 1 or 4. Miss that. 4 comes out also. So I get x plus 1 left. 2 factors are x plus 1 and x squared minus 4. And I can factor this more, it doesn't two squares, so I get x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 2. Okay, so I set each of these equal to 0. Some of y'all can skip this step right here. If you already know what x equals, then please go ahead and write that answer if you want to. I'll start doing that um, as the course goes uh, further. So I get x equals negative 1, x equals negative 2, and x equals 2. Notice there we had a third degree equation. And we have one, two, three solutions. Okay. And again, you can check these. Um, if you check these solutions, make sure you check them into the original, which is right here, the original equation. Don't check it here or here because you could have made a mistake. You would check it right up in there. So let me go ahead and pause the video, and I'm going to have you try the next one on your own. And I think that's the last um, problem in the section, so it's a very short section. Um, but go ahead and pause the video, and when you start it up again, I'll be answered. Okay, so I solved this by factoring. I set the left-hand side equal to 0, factored by grouping. And I got two factors, uh, 2x plus 3 and x squared minus 4 equals 0. So I went ahead and factored this more by difference of two squares, so I got these three factors. I set each of these factors equal to 0, which I did here. And my three solutions are x equals negative 3 halves, x equals negative 2, and x equals 2. Okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and stop the video, and you should have a very short assignment um, over this uh, section. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, email me.